The bodies of the World Central Kitchen workers are on their way home. As ambulances headed towards the Egyptian border, other aid workers like Federico Desi mapped out how to proceed. It's the first time that uh, international aid workers are killed, and so for sure that has sent a shockwave across the community. Desi and his team postponed their work in central Gaza as it takes them on the same road where the Israeli strike killed the seven workers. Humanity and Inclusion does rehabilitation work with injured and disabled individuals and provides mobility devices. The needs are so catastrophic and uh, we can't fail the Palestinians. We need to, to keep on and continue supporting them. A GoFundMe page for Jacob Flickinger's young family says he arrived in Gaza in March ready to help. The retired member of the Canadian Armed Forces worked for WCK in Mexico as well. James Kirby's family says helping was also in his nature. They are heroes, all seven of them. But yeah, we're, we're a little bit um, unhappy with the, with the response from, from Israel, if I'm totally honest. The Israeli Prime Minister on Tuesday called the strike tragic, adding such things happen in war. By Wednesday morning, the IDF's chief of staff apologized. We are sorry for the unintentional harm to the members of WCK. We were targeted deliberately, nonstop, until everybody was dead in this convoy. A defined humanitarian convoy traveling on a defined humanitarian route. The founder of the charity is calling for a neutral investigation. This looks like it's not a war against terrorism anymore. Seems this is a war against humanity itself. To enhance protection for aid workers in Gaza and facilitate aid, Israel says it's opened a new humanitarian command center. Crystal Gamansing, Global News, London.